The life of your dreams is ahead of you. You're here because deep down, you can feel that there's more waiting for you. Everyone gets what they work hard for, and by the end of this video, you should have the confirmation you need that you're on the right path. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. With that said, here are 15 signs you're gonna make a lot of money in the future. Number one, you understand that there's an abundance of money flowing in the market right now. There's never been more money changing hands and flowing around the market than happening right now. The largest transfer of wealth in human history is happening right now. This new generation is building a new world where old money is transferred to them. 84% of the new billionaires in the world are self-made. That's almost all of them. New money is printed every day, and if you don't position yourself correctly, you're not going to get your share. Number two, you're not in a hurry for it to happen overnight, but you possess a sense of urgency. You go after it nonstop. You can't stop your mind from working. You wake up with a hunger for more. You've educated yourself enough that you trust the process. It takes seven to 10 years to get rich. This won't happen overnight. Based on experience, you'll make little to no money for the first three years. The fourth year, things will start popping and by your next iteration, you should be well into the money. Number three, you understand that a job won't make you rich. You can make a living working a job, but you'll never be financially free. The biggest lie our generation was told is that in order for you to become rich, you'll need a high paying job. Those who understand this will jump at the opportunity to incorporate themselves and start a business. Use leverage and technology to multiply yourself and money. Very similar to Thanos, it's inevitable. Number four, you're living below your means. The biggest secret that we used to grow our wealth was to maintain our living standard despite the increase in income. Too many people rush off to get the big house, the nice car, to get that approval from everyone who's ever doubted them. That's where they screw up. If you want to be rich, you have to resist the urge to flex because flexing is what's going to keep you from ever escaping poverty. Number five, you're able to save or reinvest over 80% of your income. People are shocked when we tell them we invest over 80% of our income and still enjoy the lifestyle we have. There are two ways to get to this point. One, explode your income so much that even if you double or triple your lifestyle expenses, you're still left with so much money that you have to do something with it. Or two, your income is steadily increasing, but your cost of living is incredibly low. Some people are able to get away with this second version by living in cheaper parts of the world. This highly aggressive reinvesting strategy has allowed us to hit our financial goals right on target. It's one of those things that we dive deeply into in our goal mastery course, which we're considering reopening toward the end of the year. If you were on the fence last time, make sure to go to goalsbyalux.com right now and put your email onto the waiting list. Number six, you're earning with your mind, not with your body. There's a simple reason for this. There's no limit to how much you can earn with your mind. Your mind is an endless gold mine of value that you can continuously extract from as long as you keep it evolving. You'll never be rich if you earn with your body because your body has limits. You're trapped by the need to eat, sleep, shit, and exhaustion. So earn with your mind and not with your body. Number seven, you constantly take out profits and move it into other investments. This is the most valuable lesson that we've learned from a multimillionaire trader. Nobody went broke taking out profits, and it stuck with us. The idea of taking money out when times are good and moving that money into other income generating assets will keep bringing more and more money into your life. It's also how the rich keep getting richer. You might have struck gold with an investment, but unless you take out the profit, it's called unrealized earnings. You're paper rich. It's time you grew up and became actually rich. Number eight, you're in an emerging industry. The first thing you have to do is to get yourself afloat in an industry with potential. If your boat is in the sea and the sea level starts rising, your boat is going to rise with it. The world is changing and changing quickly. Gone are the days when a person could rely on a single job for the entirety of their lives. Now you have to reinvent yourself, very much like a self-arranging puzzle in order to figure out who you're going to be. Emerging industries will give you the ability to grow into positions you didn't know existed and be at the forefront of change. You want a pro-life tip? If you want to go to the top, always be in the elevator going up. Number nine, you're focused on building new streams of income. 
Every year since the inception of Alux, we've added a new revenue stream. It's one of the cornerstones of business survival. Since we don't rely on external money for growth, we need to generate income to support expansion. It doesn't matter how small the stream is, but build it and see if you're able to increase its flow later on. When it comes to money skills, the ability to bring in money from different sources that do not rely on your direct input is like the strongest infinity stone. Okay, that's our second Thanos joke for this video and probably won't be our last. Number 10. You keep learning more about money. You have this one figured out since you're here watching this. At this point, there's no secret that everybody got rich by learning about money and then manifesting that into the real world. They don't talk about this side of education in the biopic, but the average CEO reads over 50 books a year. They do courses, they go to seminars, they spend so much money on these premium events because the company they run needs to stay ahead of the curve. The entire mission of Alox is to give away all that highly expensive information for free here on YouTube. And in exchange, all we're asking is you to subscribe to the channel so we can get to 4 million subs. Go on, do it right now. Number 11. Don't waste money on shit you don't need. You know how we can tell someone's bad with money? Even if they got their hands on some, they spend it on stupid shit. How many times have you seen someone get an inheritance and immediately go and buy two cars for the family? Or you get your stimulus check and buy a PS5? Yep, we're judging your spending habits, middle America. A multi-millionaire friend of ours is a watch lover. He's got one of the most expensive watch collections we've seen. When we asked him what's with the liability on his wrist, he says it's his way of keeping track in life and he wasn't talking about time. You see, our friend has this weird system where every time he makes a new million dollars, he buys himself a new watch, which is slightly more expensive than the previous model. He started out with a 20K Rolex and now he's rocking a Patek Philippe where around 100k. But his framework stuck with us. You want to spend 20k on a watch? Make a million dollars first and then you can buy it. Number 12. Your friends are crushing it. A clear sign that you're going to make a lot of money in the near future is all of your friends are crushing it. They're all getting that bread. Your circle determines your destiny. These are people you've chosen to be your adopted family. When someone from the family starts winning, everyone else is motivated to push a little harder to not fall behind. Hang out with millionaires for long enough and it's just a matter of time until you become one of them. Number 13. You're at the top of your game in your space and people are taking notice. Here's something to remember. Money follows momentum. The moment the ball starts rolling, it'll keep on going as long as you keep pushing it forward. It's the same with money. Right now, you've got an obscurity problem. People have no idea who you are and what you're capable of. So show them. Build the thing that you want the world to know you for. Once you get it done and prove your worth, people will start taking notice. Money follows attention. The more eyeballs you have on you, the more money will come your way. Number 14. You're cutting out bad debt in your life. A clear sign you're doing well in life is you have no debt that isn't paid for by others. Notice what we did there? This is the distinction between good debt and bad debt. With bad debt, you're the one paying back the debt. With good debt, other people are paying it back on your behalf. This rule right here is more valuable than 10 self-help books put together. Know it, remember it, and use it in life and you'll make more money than you know what to do with. Number 15. Extreme Outputs This basically means you're outworking everyone else in terms of volume by at least a factor of 5. If your competition is meeting with 10 potential clients, you're meeting up with 50. If your competition has 2 sales agents in the field, you've got at least 10. Let's say you're a designer. If your peers are designing 5 logos per week, you should design at least 25 or even 50. Work overload. You're behind for a reason and there's a clear way forward through brute force. For the next 6 months, simply throw yourself into work, all in baby, and see what it does for your bottom line. Every single one of these signs is a clear indicator that you're on the right path. So here's the brutal question. How many of these 15 signs do you tick off? Let us know in the comments and we'll be there to be a witness in your journey. As for everyone sticking around, of course, there's a renowned Alux bonus waiting. Earned income. Do you want to be rich in life? Are you sure? There's only one golden nugget rule that you need to follow. Are you ready? We want you to write it down somewhere because this will change your life long term. It might not make sense right now because your brain is unable to comprehend it, but as you progress, it'll mean everything. So write it down. Here's the golden rule if you want to make an obscene amount of money. 
the ALUX Golden Rule, never spend your earned income. You're only allowed to spend the money that's coming out of your additional investments. If you had to work for it, you need to invest it, period. Struggle if you must until you get to the point where you don't have to live off earned income. This changes everything. We hate having to spend earned income and we've disciplined ourselves to invest in income producing assets. It was difficult in the beginning, don't get us wrong. We were living in a shitty apartment when we purchased our first property. We put it up for rent and got back to grinding. We purchased four properties in full before we got one for ourselves. We build additional businesses that are generating additional income which we reinvest at a faster pace. Never spend earned income or spend as little of it as you need to survive. If you've made it up to this point, we tip our hat to you for your support. Please write the word earned in the comments. That way we'll know you're out there looking to earn for your future. By the way, there's a secondary bonus out there in the wild. At one point, you'll cross a certain threshold that moves you onto the final level of wealth. We'll explain what that level is at the end bonus of the Alux podcast of this episode available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Maybe you'll want to do yourself a favor and check it out.